it happened in Valorant yet again. Yeah, and not only that, even if they lose that one map, if they lose well that one match, they still have another chance because that's the close qualifying. We'll talk more about it later. Yeah, double a limb. I can't wait. But right now, Batista's doing a pretty good job at holding back this G2 team. It's still a free versus free. Nokia's the only one on low health, doesn't have the heal, just used it on one of his teammates, but doesn't even really need to. He's gonna take these fights, takes out Zeon and... Chris? Should have asked you about pronunciations yeah. beforehand for some of these players, but... Navarro Ooh. has it all to do. Yeah, Navarro. Kirf. It's Kirf. See, that's the one yeah. thing I can't do. I Sorry, can't make that here. rolling noise. Yeah, I mean, it, it's pretty normal. Some sounds in English are, are pretty tricky for me as well. It's a pretty yeah. standard attack by G2, you know, using that Sage wall, breaking mid, taking control, winning B-side. This one didn't have much to say because it was wild. Maybe we'll see a bit more of those kind of moves from G2. But Kellogg's has been a, a grace to watch. And he even plays off of the wall bank set up from Coldementa. Yeah, they're looking for a pretty aggressive and fast play on this B site. Just uh, looking for that close quarter with that, those SMGs. They take control of it. The spike is going to be planted now. It's going to be planted by Mixwell. BTS needs something beautiful for this retake. They need something special because it's going to be hard in a 4v3 situation, especially with all the positions that G2 has already. That's a nice little setup play. I love that. The yeah. sky flash coming through of Ava being, of Ava even being able to push off of that. But Navarro has found a way in. Trying to isolate these jewels, but Kellogg's has been patient. Not your typical run in the mill duelist that wants to constantly find fights. He's actually breaking them down bit by bit and wow. he clutches out nicely everything. The, yeah, the Spanish flick, I suppose you could call it. I'm just so used to butchering it. We said that yesterday with Zesh as well. But this G2, really not giving any room for Batiste to come in and actually surprise. It's even more terrifying as well, because I know a good portion of your audience is Spanish, so I feel like... Kirth. He's he's going to be watching. Kellogg's is actually <laughs> going to get real close. This might be the shortest distance Ooh. operator fight we're ever going to see. Kriv is up, and it's just these two operators keeping him at a standstill, and Nucky's about to fight a fight up on the sage, uh, sky even, and just absolutely dominates it. Yeah, Taeyeon didn't have the best of his luck there, and they, they don't have much info besides that meat part that we that we know right now, the Astra pushing, but the, the attack and the position in on B, it's taken by G2 already, and I think it's time to... ...was hold name until they won first strike. I've got a bit. Oh. We didn't even see, maybe he didn't even need to scope, it was a really quick one. So let's see if Kyrus can uh, take the this one. has been used. Is... The operator was a bit successful going to be able to peek out and yet again Kellogg's has just sort of stood out in the open with his own operator in hand. V2 are not willing to let them try and regroup. They're going to try and continue to push but he just finding out where these struggling members of G2 are but the thing is they're not isolated. Navarro was hoping to maybe catch one on their lonesome but Coldementa checks the corner. Obviously as the silver is plenty of utility to try and clear it was shocked at so maybe that was part of the reason why it forced out a bit of an early engagement. Now Bromas is going to try and keep an eye on to Rafters, checking that corner, but the Aldrun is going to make him back up a little bit more. Now with Ova all stuck, isolated with that wall down, is going to protect Tree, and it's only those two early players that she... They would need the four. Or a left. See if he's, he's not been playing bad with the... Oh. He didn't check up. Timing. Not good for him. I was saying, Kith was, was doing good on the operator, it's just not enough. Jeez. Because when you eight zero down as well, some of these mistakes are gonna go through. And Nucky playing almost through the Hunter's Fury, finding gaps. And really it's no- We're asking Lucas, like, it's great how Nuki has all those lineups and those walls with Sage. He said, you know, it's it's Goldament that he brings so much to the team. He's always studying, always bringing in new lineups, new, new setups, and it's just crazy. The team captain and IGL that it feels that G2 have been wishing for. Being one of the common complaints very early on for G2. Operator in hand. Gonna be able to see it through. And Nucky is actually the first to go down. So he doubles his kill count, but it's a key one. And now he's with the operator on this corner. Alex doesn't like to use that dash until he needs to, and unfortunately it's gonna meet too much now. Three versus three now. Now, Operator and Bladestorm now coming in on Batiste's jet side. All of a reset as Mixwell's found a bit of a 
gap and opening somewhere that he can sneak through and catch a rotation point. Has the shrouded steps to try and get off of the site, but it's going to be an awkward one. Prision smoked off. Going to check it and peek it. This would be a big mistake having a lockdown and getting caught out on this angle. The peek comes through. It's isolated. Evolver should not be winning this clutch, and he doesn't, luckily. Promise Recon Dart is going to catch Kellogg says he's breaking his way into site. That's key information that Kellogg's could work with. The lockdown being used break from the it. defender <laughs> side, and Kellogg's has to try and now break it. Of an awkward thing, but I guess if you're going down with a ship, you might as well try and punt the log down oh. to see if something can happen there. And now they've sent this fury is more to try and stall and reset everything. And Cruz could have caught the spike there, most importantly, but he loses out that duel onto Mixwell. Batiste yeah. have a weird chokehold on this B site. Yeah, and they were a Kellogg's was waiting for a Boba and his TP, and uh, they were probably not thinking that Mixwell was left out and he had the spike on him. Wood. Not only are they playing. Incredibly well. They're leaving nothing up to chance. There's no gaps in their play. Unless you're looking at Nookie Dead, it just gets completely right. Elementor's recon, they saw them on mid, so they probably expect this. They certainly made noise towards B. Mixwell and Abova might be able to pinch in from market. Kellogg's called Elementor holding in on the back of the boathouse. They both get a kill, but they both go down in the process. And now a two versus three for G2. Of over a bit late to the party. Mixwell isn't afraid to actually try and go in for a fight alone. But Romas is going to win that. Gets the information, gets the frag. Of over taking in the fights from two different positions. It's a nice bait. A bit of fake information. Flashes out. It doesn't chime that there's an enemy nearby. And in fact, there's three. All of these like anti-flash positions. You've got Kellogg's keeping an eye on mid in case there's going to be a late lurk. Guns are in the better hands of G2 now. They have the full buy. Bonus round for Batiste. Nucky's actually going to wall off in corner and finds the jewel. Might have had players line up at this point. It's a nice recon dart that's able to get some information oh, onto no. where these players are. And Cole Dementor with the Ares. We saw this a great chance in the first day. And that sort of streak with that gun continues. Now up to Bromas. They can at least afford still, but it does put G2 onto match point. And it's been a dominant showing on their map pick so far. Yeah, exactly. This bonus round was not good enough for a bit. This G2, not the Ares, is going to be the Odin. And he's going to be crazy on this on this ass and defend. It's just... He's probably one of the most underrated players in Europe, I think. Some damage in for the top of Rafters. It's a very close hold. Look at where the spike is planted. The Eldron is going to get some information, but the Hunter's Fury, used on the attack, takes out Cold Dementor just as he was coming back from using that utility. He's holding on. Yeah, Mixwell took a step in, maybe not waiting for the rest of the team. Is that they're going on the point right now, and one by one with all those smokes falling wow. in, they just coasted here. Could have cost him a lot. Still, is a 3v3 situation. Roma's gonna use his recon where his teammates are ready to go on for this post plant. Let's see. You keep watching and guarding the back of the team. Teleport. No one waiting. And uh, should come pretty soon. Still has Navarro still has a smoly to clean maybe maybe lamps. Yeah. He's put it in the smoke and Golden Mentor tries to hide from the recon dot. Is far forced to of this sky smoke, but still wins that duel against Navarro, jumping out with the right click of the classic was only going to get you so far. And Nucky now holding off this plant, the defuse oh. was attempted at least from Zayon. Will be on one of them, and Prisionero will be on the other one. Prisionero comes from CS, he has a long way back in the esports. Nice, Kyrus not only gets two kills, he also gets the spike on the floor. In showers, and now above and Colamenta need to decide whether they're gonna look for the fag. They should you achieve the spike and try something from there. There's no chance for a cute strategy here. Gun here. 15 seconds left. They need to just win these close up duels. They know that Navarro could be playing on that angle, and the Molotov's gonna force it out. Nice. Not buying this B side just yet. But yeah, it's gotta be B side. Yeltsin strike. I like that play from the sky, though. It instantly, nice. preemptively strikes onto this G2 team that are heading in onto the B site. Luckily, Coldementor is there to break open. It's a nice opening to make sure that the sky is not going to be part of the server for now. Now, Coldementor wanting to keep an eye towards the defender's spawn. Elbow control is going to be harassed by G2. 
Romas doesn't have a reek on dart, just a shock dart, and is down to 60 HP. Can't win that duel against Devolver. He was very keen to take that space, even more keener to hold it. It's a nice little pull through play from Batiste, or at least it was a nice attempt. Keith, Bladestorm is about to run into Nucky. It's Navarro that actually protects him that ends up getting the kill. Prision. Prisionero. Prisionero. It's, it's how you say prisoner in Spanish. Oh. Prisionero. I'm just so used to ignoring sort of the numbers of prison? at the end for me. I'll, I'll, I'll teach you how to read in Spanish. Prisionero. No? Perfect. That was perfect. Oh, good. I feel Prisoner is actually a really cool name, even just yeah. the English version. He's not quite in jail yet. <laughs> yes. Have the keys to open this, but does require buying and getting through this Viper's Pit. Close quarters battle with Mixwell is on the cards. Very easy to pronounce his name. The Kellogg's has been pretty radio silent on this guy, at least for the impact of these fights that he's taken, and he has quite a lot to do. The spike has been planted. You'll notice that Coldamenta is over oh. main and gets killed through the smoke from Keith. Now Kellogg's breaking these fights one by one. He hit. The drill stopper is dedicated. Ooh. He's firing onto the corner. Zeon has found a nice little off angle, a dangerous one, but it works out perfectly. And now Keith is adding more to the problems on this side of G2. It's looking like Batiste could go even on score here. Yeah, and that Viper Wall is not giving them any info for what it's inside B-side. Also, they're collecting the, the rest, just what they need. They don't only have that Viper, they also have that Brimstone. This double controller creates the perfect space for them. And now brings the question out to D2. What are you going to do now? Are you going to go for it? Looks like they are. Zion has been much better player on this bind map. He's still playing an elbow, and G2 have still managed to find a way to make this close. It's a 2v2 on the site, at least, and Navarro, they're trying to protect onto Kellogg's, who has it all to do. It would have been a nice multi-kill start, at least if he could find that fight onto Navarro, but it's all body shots. In the top 25, at least, and Keith, we saw how much he wanted to play with the Operator on Ascent. He wasn't able to do all that much with it, but already he's having... Massive impact on this. Nucky tries to dash his way in. Mixwell slips his way in onto site, trying to play off of Cold Mentor's Recon Dart to get some kills through the toxic screen. He has rebuilt oh, his gonna... position, though. Oh. He's catching on to Bromas, though. It's a nice trade for the teammate, but unfortunately, the spike's in an awkward position. you got Navarro that's actually pulled all the way through B, through Market. He's playing off of where the spike's been dropped to Mixwell. He's not in a safe position. He's going to try and go through the smoke. Navarro is there waiting. Anything, right. That is scary. That is really scary. Because if they can adapt to any team, they can do anything. They can win anything and anyone. Another defuse has to come in for Betis. Navova actually picking up a gun on the ground wins the duel against Bromas. Now Elbow is going to be really difficult for Zayon to take, Oof. but that's a nice little peek to get that information. Get the kill following. There's a guiding light that's going to push more into Elbow, but Evolver wins that fight easily. Smokes himself off. They're playing for time. Bigger guns are not available for Cold Dementor. He's holding onto B Lobby with the Sheriff because the Orbital Strike, as soon as that spike was even sniffed on, the Orbital Strike was there to delay it a little bit more. There's not much utility left to work with. Prisionero does go down. Evolver, the triple kill is there. And an excellent round for him and a thrifty for G2. Keeping them in it so far. Yeah, and Coldament at this. I can't wait. You may not know everything. Like, you may not learn how to speak it, obviously, but you know how to read. At least I'm trying. That's the main thing. Yeah, of course. Oh. <laughs> Take it back to the operator. operator. They don't want it in this game oh. anymore. Navarro, though, has the judge. He's low health, and one thing that G2 have been doing super successfully is if they're under a bit of pressure from B Hooker or B Lobby, something in that garden area, the player in the opposite position is able to put to expecting it. Oh, there's a lot of players. Oh, for it's a just great. There. Yeah, oh, I don't I think put... it's this. It's awkward. Ramos at least escapes with his life. Yeah, they didn't expect him here. There. It's just crazy. 
with the recon and then you get the flash and then you can, now you can pop flash with the sky if you master that double dash up and, and, and get a kill but he didn't make it oh Chiang get, gets a kill and he also gets the spike down the seekers are coming up for him super fast enough oh it's literally Holy what you said if you're coming for me on long I'll be pushing from short it's actually Kellogg's was able to slip in by and that's the seekers not being used I don't think I oh, know it was maybe thrown out towards oh. the end in midst all of the chaos Navarro holding onto the site has lost track of where Nookie's playing from and he's actually a lot deeper than he may be expecting him to be yeah, Nookie, now sec seconds left. he's got yes, 30 seconds left you gotta play this one Enemy remaining. wow or you can just wow. do that, the showstopper right at the end. It doesn't catch on to the kill. Prisionero still alive in this second. The spike still hasn't gone down. He goes oh up into God, the sky. Nuki. Pistols again. Zeon again. That's for the wider peak. Hoping to find a, a, a closer opponent on the left hand side. But called the Minter is holding his ground. Bova gets two before he's traded and a couple more added to call the Mentor's tally. So Bromas even before he can really set himself up for the action. At the lineups ready for the solver, and before they hit the ground, the rest of his team is dead. Yeah, this uh, tough position for Bromas. Spike's not his, and not enough HP. Now yeah, we're trying to push on B long. Looks like A is gonna be way easier for them. It's a 4v3 again, bonus run for this G2, but they have all the positioning and lamps. They do not have the, the vision, but they will have it soon. Boba just pushes out. Zion has been really good on the sky. He's going to continue to be prison and arrow. Adds a few more to his tally. The beginning of the round. Zion is on one. Oh. He's actually managed to make his way through, completely bypassing a Volva, but their shots are going to be heard. I think they're going to bump into each other at this point. Volva just sitting there the whole time. Zion's going to be kicking himself for that. Oh, the shame, but he gave up that position. Yeah. And the rest of Betis is making their way onto the A site, but that's another awkward mistake coming out of. Then. Romas at least able to trade out for the opponent, but it's a 3v3 and G2 is still holding very close. Mixwell on an angle that I don't think Romas is going to be expecting. Cleans up the kill nicely. Yeah. Nicely weighted as well. 3v2 still. Most of the defendants are on that A site. Smokes are going to fall any moment. Oh, Mixwell has all the info that they need. The rotations are coming. And all... Venoms to prevent them from getting in the point. Oh, God. Barrow using the orbital strike to his own advantage there, really. It comes from the defended side of G2. Doesn't stop the spike dropping. The recon death from Caldamenta has always been good to find some information. Barrow trying to make sure that these G2 players are pulling in together. Wants to take those fights. Rome, but Caldamenta doesn't kill the cabbage that was heading his way. Zeon knows that there's people close fighting in the smoke, so Volva trying to go for the coin play again. Actually does take a good portion oh, of damage, God. but still finds Zeon. He really has the sky's number today, but Bromas is clearing up these sheriffs. Numbers advantage still there for Betis. They have the better guns, they have the spike down. But I still think G2 can do a number here. Yeah, they can. They use those seekers, also the flashes. New friends, pretty soon. friends, the second one. Enemy remaining. Oh my god, if he oh turns god. right, he can get maybe both of them. Oh Let's check the corner. Most part, I think it might have just no, been a Volva yeah. that I couldn't afford. Yeah, I think Still. it was a Volva by Nuki that couldn't get a uh, tier 1 gun, but for the rest, I think it was... They wanted to be aggressive and to be fast, but... This isn't good, you just sort of see the sheriffs with fires through there. Keith coming in close. Nuki shuts down that fight. The Hunter's Fury coming out on the attack, and oh, it only kills no. Prisionero. What a drastic way to go out. Oh, Mixwell no. with two with a snake bite. 